this is Grand VJ software connected with the VMX VJ, which is a MIDI controller. So this mi MIDI controller is nice for Grand VJ because it has a lot of controls, and in Grand VJ everything can be mapped to MIDI controllers. So I have here um, buttons to select the current layer I'm working on. So let's take the first layer. Here I have uh, buttons to trigger a cell, like this. So I can actually trigger uh, the five uh, by four um, cells of the current bank, and I have here sixteen uh, buttons to select the current bank. So like this. So I can access a lot of movies and as you can see is this quite reactive. So um, I have eight buttons here to select the, la the current layer, eight feathers here to uh, fade my eight layers, buttons here to trigger s um, a cell on the selected layer. So let's put a movie on layer 1, like this, select layer 2, trigger another movie, like this one, and fade it on. Okay, let's do like this. So here I can fade between my layer 1 and 2. Now I have uh, some controls here where I can actually uh, pause the selected layer, pause and restart it. Here I have a button to stop the current running layer. I have other controls here and I have here a button to um, revert the playback. So this button, this controls affect the current selected layer as well as of all this set of buttons. So here I have the control of the movie speed. Here I have a control over effect parameters. Um, there is no effect actually, so I cannot see it. But I can select a layer, uh, an effect. Uh, so let's take the contrast effect for example, or maybe not, maybe this one, comic effect. So I can make it the refresh faster, slower for example. Let's take ASCII art effect, so here yeah, I can select, change the, the effect parameters. Okay, uh, now let's work without any effect, like this. I have, uh, so, movie speed, effect controls, Z position of the current layer. Uh, I can change here scaling X, scaling Y, tiling, um, rotation. Okay, yeah. I have a button to reset the, the position settings. I have RGB levels here. Um, I don't remember. Yeah, it's copy mode. It's uh, normal, addition, subtraction, etc. And I have here chroma luma king. So I, I remove the black like this. Um, here I have the audio input adjustment, so audio input is uh, quite useful when you take a layer with a generator or a audio reactive flash animation, like this. So I need some bass. Some bass please. <laughs> okay. So I can adjust the audio input level. I have brightness contrast here. Brightness contrast. So 
so the movie is not great to show contrast. So I have a lot of uh, different controls over my visual and if I take the last controls I have is um, loop size, loop length here. and loop starts here that's it so I've got a lot of controls over all, all the layers so this is a very nice controller for Grand VJ actually Layer 8, I can select an effect. Let's take the radial blur effect. Radial blur, I can define the level effect and fade it on. Ah, okay. Let's clear the visual actually running on the layer. So I can move the position of my effects. 